Hello, everybody. It's your wonderful and mage, your cruise ship servant, Chartreuse Proxy, ever and always at your service. Today is June 20. We are looking at a Thursday stream tonight and the return of Reverse Collapse, codenamed Bakery Girl. I want to continue to making this my uh, one of my weekly series because since I did have a, you know, a good enough break from playing it after my cosplay crunch came in, so I didn't play it from May 14 to I think June like 16 or whatever when I did it uh, last week or so. So the main thing is, well, I say 16. That was four days ago. So that's not a week away. But you know, you you know what I you know what I mean. TODR, at the end of the day, I do want to make Reverse Collapse my, one of my usuals. I want to get through the story, since I haven't been able to yet. So I'm just looking forward to it and all. But I hope everybody chills out. I was waiting for Firefox to also boot back up, because it did just have a problem with... Uh, with, uh, just face... With starting up on me, and I needed to make my stream announcement known. So yeah. Let me just type this out real quick. Stream now live. Made the tweets. Post all. Perfect. Quote tweet went out. We are all good. Hope you're doing well yourself once again, Austin. And, well, we're getting back to this now, aren't we? We certainly are. So, reverse collapse time. That is also a big, big turn in volume. Alright, so I was went a little bit offline, but that was just me doing some of the challenge run on... I uh, doing it on uh, challenge difficulty, which is the hardest. Because currently, otherwise, I'm just turn uh, I'm just playing on standard, and uh, quite frankly, as well, I've already been challenged enough with the mechanics just because of how much more conservative I am in usual strategy games more. So, yeah, I've been getting like B's and C's and some missions in challenge mode, and it does not feel the best. But besides, I have a lot more stories to actually go through, but I haven't played anything more yet. So, let's tackle what we did last time. Having inherited all of her memories of rescuing her sister in other timelines, Jeff D realizes that using all of her available resources to rendezvous with Tassa as soon as possible might bring about a new turning point. After saving Mendo at the ambush site, Jeff D took a shortcut with him and shook out the pursuers. The two managed to get across the bridge and reached the highway station quickly. A refugee transport arrived on schedule. Mendo disguised their identity skillfully and boarded the transport successfully. Unexpectedly, a conflict occurred between the refugees and the URNC soldiers at a highway checkpoint, because someone on the transport was infected. Mendo decided to step forward to protect the refugees. And with the transport uh, with the transport drivers, you see here, we got some of uh, uh, some of our beloved girls from past. Oh, I was going to say past games. I mean, we only had girls front one before, but... Uh, what's his face? It's the sweetest thing to just see some of the returning dolls back around, you know? But to sum it up, and also part of... Part of... What's his face? Part of my excitement for this stream, especially, is that we have two cat girls on our side, which is the sweetest, sweetest thing. And my cat girl as well. Cat girl doll enough or so. So we have Betty in the middle, and I'd say who is the epitomous IDW. Because remember, Girls Front Run Universe means all T dolls have been imprinted onto a gun. So the IDW from Girls Front Run back then, and also from their spin off, which I think was Project Neural Cloud. Um, she's, yeah, a SMG and I guess team leader. We have Abigail, who is M500, one of the shotguns I used a lot in Girls Front Run as well, which is also the cutest thing. And those are the ones I recognize. I didn't recognize the other two, but I did look it up afterwards. So, Va uh, Valmet, the pink hair, is G62. Or, uh, not, not G62, um, that's the squad name for, um, IDW. It's M82. And then Ruby, our, our, our girl here with the pistol, is, uh, P2000. So, those were, uh, so that's for you, girl short one heads. It's fraud on me for not recognizing two of them. But I only, I just used two of them more. Yeah, I remember at least preparing all my items and everything last time before I ended off stream. So we're just going to chill and see how things go. So, unexpected incident. Nice shot. You. Since you insist on getting involved in this, let's make this quick. 
We cannot leave any traces of us being here. Yes, I understand that, naturally. Hello, are you looking at the leak? Those rescued always are authorized to attack us. Kill them all, along with the people in the transport. Spare no one. Captain, they locked the transport's operating systems. We need to find a way to unlock it. This transport isn't going anywhere otherwise. Uh, this transport isn't going anywhere otherwise. I know, yeah. But the access to unlocking the transport is at the control tower in the northeast. It's a closed circuit system, yeah. I already tried, but there's no way to hack it from here, yeah. Wow, IDW really going in on it. Hey, Protoss. So we simply have to hack the equipment at the control tower. Yeah, you just can't. Yeah. Oh, IDW, you are gonna already have me just breaking so much with this. Looking at how you're holding your gun, you're no less than the soldiers. Yeah. Sorry about the uh, audio. I don't have a. Uh, I I can't move the browser window too much, so I'm just having to tap in and out just to make sure I'm not missing chat too much. Rather, can I drag things a little bit out of the window? Okay, actually, that's way better. So now I can see chat. Hey, okay, much better. Stay here. Save the chit chat for later. We'll only be sitting ducks if we stay here. I need assistance for a coordinated assault on the t on the control tower. Once we gain control of the transport, we can take the mountain road to shake them off. Yeah, 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 Austin. Yeah. I understand. Valmet, Ruby, go with them. Yeah. I can put more effort into it, but you're gonna have to pay me a few of those channel points to do so. I is there no problems with that? Leave it to me. Jeffy, please take care of the refugees. Be careful. Uh huh? This is... Hmm. Three of them broke away. Sir, three of the targets are heading east. Heh. <laughs> there aren't in these few outdated dolls to try and capture the control tower. Activate the electromatic barrier immediately. Block off their path and isolate them. Take them out one by one. I'm being serious about this con business. Brother, if you're talking about what you're posting in the Discord, I'm gonna be real with you. Half the time you're posting nonsense or games that I don't understand, I am just not following with half of what you say, Protoss. I. Deputy Station Chief of the Churchset Highway Checkpoint. Enjoys taking the spot during daily work and particularly relishes the feeling of impressing others. Unlike other scouts, there also includes enhanced stun grenades for strep and reduced evasion. And he wants to shoot the enemies with lowest evasion. Interesting. Interesting. The stun grenades lower your accuracy and evasion if you get hit by it. And he wants to prioritize people who he hits with those. So interesting then. Prepare for battle, nya. I'm sure we can handle it all by ourselves, nya. <laughs> Isn't this the best? It's just like old times, Heidi. I mean, Betty. This is hardly the time for reminiscing, yeah. <laughs> IDW, stop. Please, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna already crack uh, me. Don't give up. <laughs> I'm granting you access to operate the material shuttle. Since you're dolls, I assume I don't have to explain how to use it. We can use the barbed wire barricades to block all the routes leading this way. Nice, Jeffy. You highlighted your message, Austin. That's not playing the Nyas Ross Nyatats. Darn it. This reality is blocked. I mean, shot at it once. I don't know how much we really did. Remember to use the repair function of these barricades wisely so we won't be surrounded by the enemy reinforcements from the base. Why are you suddenly giving orders, Nya? This young lady seems to have quite a bit of combat experience. Let's follow her lead for now. Uh, okay, Nya. Ready for this defense operation, Nya? Oh, IDW. I need a Nya counter for when y YouTube comes out here. But where are their medics? Once they make contact with their main force, it will be even more difficult for us to break through. Mm -hmm. Refugee transport takes less than 50 damage. Betty and Abigail defeat a total of 15 and the question marks. Failure is if it's destroyed. So, this mission is very, very interesting. Just taking a look at it. Because I remember when I did my first look through... Uh, if you look at the tag for Valmet, Ruby, and Mendo at the bottom right there, they are, they have attack commands over them, and they have the NPC designation on them. 
I am in no way controlling the Eastern Assault at all, it seems. So, as per the bonus objectives, I want uh, I want IDW and M500 to take the brunt of the kills. Jeff D can try to sweep and, you know, cover what he can. So, let's see what we can get. I think I want to go ahead and prioritize getting this here. So, IDW... IDW itself takes two AP, so it's like uh, so I basically have Mendo with me in a way. If I want to, I could put a turret down to try to help out. I don't know if I want to put it down now, or if I could like put it at over here. I mean, anyways, we'll just shoot at it either way, because they just can't pass it and pass the barricade at the very least if it's still here. Abigail, what does M500 do? Well, it's 4 toss, 86 attack versus IDW's, well, Betty's. That's 33. 56 at 72. You can get armor or you can increase your attack. So I can just straight up blast two people without worries. If I wanted to, I think what I'll do is move up here like so. You get the grenade. One. Two. Oh, that's so satisfying, baby. That is so satisfying to just see those go off. For now, though, IDW, just clean up this guy. I need to call them by their names. Otherwise, I'll just keep calling them by their weapon designations, because that's what I'm used to. Alright. Nice stuff. Jeff, you can move up here. One frag. Another hit on the commando. Commando can't attack me if I move bad, so brilliant. And I guess, yeah, I'm ready out of AP, so I'll end the turn right here and here now. Now's our chance! I still Mendo. Sutz, he's in cover. Mr. Hurst, give them a grenade. Nice! Good shot, Ruby. Valmet on your right. Ooh! And clean them up. Good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you got your own tripwires! <laughs> I guess they are using the material shuttle like was like was requested. Cover me and take them out. Nice dodge. He's behind cover. Yep. You see Doran. I'll cover you. Suckers! Suckers! Darn. Oh, Velma took a hit. The man still shooting the barricade here. So the main thing that I'm immediately thinking of at the moment as well is I see there's a data log right there. We have to kill everybody for this mission to end. Team 4 is ready. Attack from the West is planned. And they're just gonna be coming in waves. So, it, of course, Team 1 followed me for a point to maneuver from the side. Yeah, so of course, you don't want to just barricade up in here by itself where the transport is. I think we, I think what I'm incentivized to do, especially with this pickup point here, we want to push to where this bastard ball court is and potentially get the data here if possible. So, I think what I want to do here to start is move IDW up. I'll just grenade both of you. Cut down on time. So what I want to do is already start moving here this way. Nice. Uh, where is that barbed wire? The uh, can your motor repair it up to sustaining damage. The uh, the barricade will automatically return to the bat path at the end of each battle. So if I place it right here, for instance, it'll buy some time. I don't have a way to put anything more. I have the cheat bar, but there's really no reason to really use it. I have enough for charge, that's at 12. I can increase evasion for IDW. 
or charge. Each charge uh, increases normal accuracy by 60%. Uh, no, increased damage by 60% and accuracy by 10. Each normal attack increase, uh, oh, it consumes charge. Interesting. I think what I want to do for now is go ahead, steady shot. Uh, more so for the reason of I don't need anything but just the extra AP. I want Jefty to already start being incentivized to move up. If I can. In a safe, controlled environment. I think a good idea actually would be to do so. Danger premonition. Man could attack her. I have accuracy. None of Asian on here. So I want her to have safety no matter where she is. I think I'll end on that note. Great, they group together. Ruby, let them eat one of your smoke grenades. Project that already. Targeting. Here. That also seems like a good place. I'll go with this. Are you wasting AP, Ruby? <laughs> Velmet, aim for the enemies in the sand pile. Good stuff. Ruby? I know, I know. I'm just gonna merge them together one by one. Ooh, a rather a grenade. That's nice. That's some amazing teamwork you got there. I don't like how they are standing in the road though. Those are snipers nearby. Zone with three of them! Find cover and press forward! Yeah, they are dealing with things decently. Now, I was about to say, are they gonna take hits from the snipers in just a second here? A little bit. Okay, say that. Ruby's almost gone. One of them is hiding at the sand pile, Barry. Get him! Mendo's in cover. Oh, he shouldn't be taking this damage. Surrender! That's bad losses. All things considered here. M500 didn't take anything. My bad. Abigail didn't take any damage. So decent. The barricades are already gonna be hindered a little bit, though. It, but it is getting them all stockpiled together, and especially if they're just gonna keep driving out in waves like so. It's totally fine. Hello? Enemy sportsmen have arrived. Be careful. Reinforcements coming from that side. I guess I could keep moving a barricade over here then. I think I probably want IDW just on defensive duty, so you can just kind of stick around in this corner, is my thoughts. And then what I'd be incentivized more to do is push out with M500. Just since you can get cover, that's what I'm thinking. For now, though, I think the good idea is to go ahead and place the turrets. I want Jefty to counter snipe. Perfect. We only have one more AP left after this, so yeah, counter snipe. Man can potentially hit Jefty, but she still has her status of premonition, so I don't care that I'm on the high ground. I could move down, but it, it's one AP. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll just move, go ahead and move down. These turrets need to just start poking these boys. Oh, that's so cute here in IDW like that, dude. Alright, if I move IDW up to the sand file, she gets evasion 20. I can kill the stronger enemy, so it's just these two much left. Moving up right here. It takes four AP to shoot anybody. It's a little bit annoying. Not exactly within range. I can't also shotgun blast you exactly where I want. Good shot though. Good shot. And then I think the next thing that I potentially want to do here. Since I have three AP left, I might as well just place a trip or so. Even if I just place a trip like this. 
That's one tile less than I want. But if, if, if this guy moves up to shoot, then he's just going to be whacked anyway. I don't care if you make it through, because whoever you're targeting survives, 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 either way. Transport to take damage, I am not going to lie. But, smallest beans in the world. Don't worry, I'll take care of recovery and support. Nice shot. Perfect formation. We are surrounded by snipers, we need to take them out first. You take the side, Mr. Hurst, the other is mine. Nice shot, Mendo. You got a grenade for those two boys right there. No, you just got shots. You got yeah, a lot of AP. Nice stuff, Mendo. Charge focus, your own skill. I remember looking it up in like after when off stream last time. I think that's really just accuracy uh, and damage increase for uh, Valmet. So nice stuff. Phew. Wow, way to go, Valmet. What did I need to be just dead? See. Gunshots. Something is happening up ahead. We just don't have a ward. Why is this happening in my first day at this post? Oh, if it was bad to you, man. Yeah, so you just hit the turret. Don't care. Okay, maybe you guys, uh, maybe I do care a little bit because you are hitting the turret. The turret survived, which is actually fine by me. I think they're here. Hey, six enemies. Team 2 is in position. We have orders to watch an ambush on the transport from the west. Yes, sir! Prepare to engage the targets head-on! I will fight around from the side and attack from long range. Annoying. But you do have an item, so I want to get you. Team 2 has launched an assault from the west! We should catch up! Four more guys. So, four up top. Sits from the west. Strong reinforcements from the mountain are also moving to the front line. Yep. Hmm. So let's look at you. You are a medic. Your storage speed equal to 580% of the performance attached to the target's allied unit. Interesting. But have you considered doing something like this? Cur attack? Oh, it's a blast. Well, either way, I'm still killing two, two of you. See ya! Take that hit. I'll just go ahead and blow up this guy, because I have the AP. Then my thought process is... IDW can merc these two. Good stuff. The turrets will take care of this one. That Jeffy can't take care of both. Take one. Oh, you didn't go to sleep. Um. You know, just flashbang you, sir, then. Oops. And let's keep thinking here. You guys are just going to beeline for the transport. Yep. You, sir, are going to get into position to counter snipe us, essentially, here. Go ahead, set up a trip, I'm thinking. Set up a trip and. AP for the barricade. The barricade would take a million damage otherwise if I put it here anyway. What's your attack range for most of you? Three? One, two, three. If you stand on the barricade, then you can't do much here, so I think it's fine. But sort of put the barricade that far back. I don't think so. I think even just start putting it right here is totally fine. Now, it seems like an awkward placement. They're gonna have to walk around it or destroy it one way or another. So I'm absolutely fine with that.
I didn't know that the barricades could, uh, that the barricades repaired themselves just like that. Otherwise, I would have, I would have done a little bit more of my due diligence, but it's all right. Most scouts are circling back down here. Stay out of their attack range. Let's regroup inside the building for a moment. I'll stay on guard. When what? There are some supplies we can use. Nice healing. IDW or Betty got healed from safety patch. Her one of her passes a little bit. Signs of a battle. Oh, you just bum rest straight for the thing, huh? Interesting. I thought you'd maybe attack one of my units, but you know what? This is totally fine. Sit rep. <laughs> what are you looking at, dude? Sir, you don't need to worry about the enemies going up the mountain for now. The unit attacked in refugee transport encountered fierce resistance. You can't handle even just three people guarding the transport? Yes, sir. They're a sniper. I refuse to believe that we can't deal with them. Attention all units. Who wants a general offensive on the enemy transport? I repeat, who wants a general offensive? Oh, boy. Captain, it seems that the main forces are preparing to move out. The UNRC soldiers are coming from all directions. There are so many of them. Calm down, then continue defending those narrow shirt points. They won't prevail that easily. Abby, weren't you just complaining about how despicable those Rosardus soldiers are? Now's your chance to fight back. Alright, so, steady shot, because I want to absolutely one-tap with you, sir. Good. I W you can't move immediately down. These turrets aren't doing as much here. Yet. But since they aren't attacking, I'll just take the time to repair. Anything without a doubt, just have IDW's um, evasion go back up. I want more than anything to be able to just toss a grenade on their faces. I don't want IDW taking too much damage here. If I move like this, it's 2 AP. 2 AP. Can check a nade, get a kill, or rather get two. Oh, graphic gravel, pretty good. All things considered, here. Let's strike you two with that, and then I want IDW to cheat back in the cover because you don't have too much health here. That's going to be way too many enemies for Abby to fight by herself. So I think what I want to do instead is Hollow Gravel. To make it harder for y'all to start moving up. And unfortunately, as much as I do have to keep moving up, I think I should have her fall back for the meantime. Next best thing to do as well is place more Gravel. Stall the entire top and move back where you aren't going to be hit too much. Now, this is where everything really starts winding up. I don't have the SP for Jefty to do the penetrating shot that I would have wanted to. He doesn't have a shot on anybody at all. What I think I should do for the moment is move to the sand pile and I think just put the barbed wire here. We're, we're just buying time at the moment. We're buying time for my turns. It wasn't a very proactive turn though. I only killed two enemies when basically sits are adjoing, uh, adjoing every turn. I need to be... I need to fight my choke points. Hello there. Nice ambush. D -d Don't kill me. Oh, he got away. That's not the best. He ran away? There's no time to dwell on that. Prepare to attack. If if day one scout comes back and messes up our plans somehow, I'm gonna be mad. They're coming! Intercept them! They want to upgrade at the barbed wire, dude. Nice! I don't know which front I would want to deal with more, the offensive or defensive. 
Well done, Mr. Hurst. Instead of trip mines, have the troops at three or follow me for a push and told Bat Team 3 that is on patrol for backup. Charge! Yeah, I don't know which side of the fight I necessarily want to be on here. I'll be honest with you. Alright, transport is taking hits, which I'm not happy about. And IDW is taking hits too, but what? I'm buying a lot of time with the holographic gravel at the very least here. I think I'll probably have Abby just really stand in the middle and just armor up and be the armored choke point. And the boss himself is moving. Interesting. Okay, without a doubt. IDW? Need to do something like this. Move here. Frag the three. And then heal yourself. Heal yourself for two. Then here's my plan with Jeff D here. I need to give the sniper first and foremost. I don't care about this one scout. Get a firearm out of it. Ooh. I'm thinking to myself here. Without a doubt, I think I fire on... Yeah, no, I fire on this man. Get him out of here. Say repair. Say repair. Abby, you move up. I want this turret to fire on this man here. Get him away. I think it's a good time to protect and focus. Blast him. And I don't have anything... Yeah, I don't have anything I can really use out of this more unfortunately here. That's the best thing is I can move IDW up. You are going to target... Doesn't tell me who you want to target. I still try to move IDW up and... Um, Jeff D up though. Guys, with the south taken care of, I just need to prepare to help out on this front. Alright, alright, alright. We'll stick with this. The trip mine's down a few of them. Let's move! You're moving out in the open like that, Mendo. Okay, you have you have your grenades, too. Yeah, that's fair. That's very fair. I mean, I'm, I've been using my grenade orb roy too. Nice shot, Valmet. Ruby, there are three more in the bat. Got it. I missed. It's all because of this weather. Ruby, don't attack from suboptimal range. <laughs> and then she just, she just ego shot one more time after. <laughs> miss, miss, don't attack suboptimally. I'll press the button again. Ruby got a headshot. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. And she just said, screw it, we ball. Nice dodge. All right. Yeah, we need we need to set up for another choke point. Turret's gone to a sniper. That's unfortunate. Boss is moving up too. Side wasp basically one the turret missed. I lost one of my sources of damage. I need to recall this barbed wire here. Blast him is what I'm thinking first. Ooh, that'd be so nice if I can just hit all of them together. I mean, I could also hit these guys here. I think that might be higher priority. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, do this. And a trading shot. Oh, it can miss? That crap can miss? That does not fill me with happiness. Okay, so what are the options then? I barbed wire. I can't fire in this man, and I want to kill him. Do I take the 62? I think I do. 
Nice stuff, Abigail. Two smotes as well. Alrighty. Then, next ploy is to place, replace the barbed wire right there. Jeff Deacon take out another. Great. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've basically broken even. I still have IDW to move as well. What do I want IDW to do? I think I'll just have you stall them with smoke that way if they move in. That's their problem then. I'm out of trips. So I'd like to make them please. Take all my actions, but that'll be for next turn anyway. Alright, next turns. Is there is more snipers in the force back there? It would be a problem. What's this, Valmet? Ruby, you handle the ones up there. Are you gonna say you got it? Nice shot, Mr. Hurst. Okay, so I have a trip mine to throw off the sniper and then you just absolutely blast his head. Interesting play, Mendo. One, two, three, tap them. Ruby, steady, triple shot. <laughs> Cute. A doll dares to act so dare. A doll dares to act so arrogantly? Kill her! Suckers. Another trap. Nice dodge. Nice dodge, guys. Only one hit out of three when you're standing out in the open like that. Okay, the snipers are being a very, very big problem. I'm not going to lie. Because that's both my turrets gone. <laughs> did you. What did you do to us? Hello? Increases damage taken and base attributes decrease. We have no evasion. Interesting. Okay, what? Steady shot first. You guarantee dodge and that's normal attack. Annoying, of course. So I want IDW to get a ping off of you first. Watch your hijinks, guaranteed. If I do Trevor Focus, does that negate out the negative? It gets me up to 35, which is actually pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. I want a turret out of the firearm that I had there. So what I want it to do... I want it to go right here and draw out the free fire. That way IDW doesn't have to move. And Jefty, it's a nice guaranteed shot. One. Two on this man. Get him out of here. Sir! Bastard! You're down! Oh yeah, man! Man, order an attack on our base. What do you think I was going to do to him? Dab, he's gone. IDW gets another. IDW gets another. We tap. Ooh, IDW, let's go, girl! And now, with the majority of them wiped out, I can start moving up with Abigail. Ping, take that sucker. And, oh no, it's only you, Sniper. Alright, this is looking a lot more comfortable. Me being able to weather the storm, basically, and all of that, and just, yeah, just start moving up, and start moving my line of offense up like that, is wonderful. I played around with the simple turret from the firearm that I got, and we are looking at a very good state. Now, the question is... I mean, it's Abigail or ADW taking the attack, and Abigail's already at zero uh, evade, so... Might as well burn the two just to move up. Time's running out. Get rid of them and, pro and proceed towards the central tower. Hold it. Take care of it for now. I see movements over there. More reinforcements? Most probably. Gosh. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Our three team has returned and is ready to provide support. 
There are loads of them, Valmet. We can't fight them all. Hey, Valmet! Get up. I'm trying to think. 25 against Abby. Yeah. I don't think you're getting through at all. Alright. So... Move out right so. Blast this man. Is the turn in range? It is not in range. Annoying. Alright, move back then. And if I do support fire like this, my idea is to have IDW move up. Or Betty. Support fire will proc. Only 50? Oh, that's annoying. Either way, man's dead. First man's dead. Next one's poked. Yeah, I did my screw up a little bit here with uh, Betty's positioning. Can I take this back? Can I uh, take those movements back, please? I'd very much so like to do so. Otherwise, I still want to push for here. I keep pushing, keep pushing up there. That's best thing is just toss another smoke for the 180. Reduce your accuracy a little bit more <laughs> since I don't have a uh, Trevor focus. I thought <laughs> I thought it would go a little bit better. I still have a grenade here. We can spice it up a bit. Here's what I propose. Sounds doable. What's at the according to Mr. Hurst's plan? Three, two, one, go. Ambush! Nice dodge. Amplified blast. Hello! Absolute tanking of their aggro, putting the turret up to draw their attention and then blasting them all. Nice plan, guys. We did it. Aiming starts out have been eliminated. Kill the snipers inside when we get in. Nice stuff, boys and girls. Nice stuff. Yeah, y'all are just keeping things going. Watch out, I'm about to blast open the gate. Missed against Jeffy. Hit against Jeffy. Miss. Huge. IDW took a hit. IDW's down to the town. Problems. Problems. I'm so used to Mendo having just that least extra health bar, so actually I might have a problem on my hands. Yeah, I thought support fire would go a different way, but it just didn't, so yikes. Because it spent all of my AP, so I should have acted a little bit more accordingly. So these boys can cycle around after disabling the electric barrier. I did try to strip over the dialogue a little bit. This is going to be nice. Because now the map flips on its head, ahead and we have a little bit more support ourselves. Interesting. Well, you have to control them though. Because if I do, that would be great. The checkpoint's main force is up ahead. Everyone proceed with caution. It's attack from here then. It's a good position with plenty of cover. Contact your captain tell her we're ready. Together we can eliminate them. Yes, Mr. Hurst. Captain, this is Valmont. We circled around behind the enemy and we're for your point. So we're ready to attack whenever. Oh done, Valmont. Yeah. Move out on the court of on the count of three. Yeah, I could use the units considering how IDW's currently down. These were some magics to think you're being led into a wild goose chase by a few rescue dolls! Guards, come with me! Hello. Yes! I can control them! A cameo mission? Yeah! Yeah! I got the girls! Now granted, uh, I didn't read how cover fire works, so IDW is kind of suffering. But it's fine. Alright, so let's think, let, let's think things out. We got Mendo back. Amplified Blast. So, grenade launcher for 160%. Charge focus. Yeah, attack by 45. What does P20 have again? Or P2000? She has um, her accuracy effect from, uh, from her tile skills. Vulnerable. First vulnerable I actually have. The first and foremost, I think non negotiable grenade over here, potentially here. You actually. Everybody's full on SP from this side, so that's great. 
Because I could also put down a bunch of turrets with Mendo, basically, here, if I want. And really start working it. I mean, first and foremost, see what I get. That's a grenade. Well, uh... Oh, no, that's Shockwave. That's just gonna be an easy deciding right there. So I'm thinking otherwise, then. Yeah, I have my character Rampage, so... I have my character Rampage, and I just have... Oh, I have, like, two dead turrets over here, but I can recall them and then just get those going. Main thing I'm thinking, too, I have Cur Attack. I have at 41 HP, but if I can Cur Attack and hit these guys with it, 120% of own attack, so it's 86. You're at 82, you're at 82. I can kill these two. It's just the medics left, unless if I position this way. Ivor, does he have the annoying dodge? Yes, he does. All right, that's whatever. Main thing, though, is Jefty doesn't have Decoration of Miracle ready either yet. And I do not have the HP nor the way to kill these guys unless I also bring Abby back. Which I can, but I only get a cur attack on these two then, so... Comes either or. Let's deal with the top half first. Let's deal with the top half, so... Accuracy invasion by 15 to allied units within this area for fetch for two turns. Or inflict an enemy of vulnerable. And that's just 8 SP. That's very, very nice. First and foremost. Do the mechanical rampage. Yes, the turrets come back, but I can't use them here. At least these two. So I want you two to come back. Got nothing else on this side, so barbed wire two. Hey, how are you enjoying this game? Enjoying it very, very much. Even though I took a break from it, because I first played on, I think, May 16. Now, this is my second stream in June playing uh, Reverse Collapse. Coming back to it, I am very much so enjoying the tactical layer and the amount of decisions that I've got just from even making my items from the... Uh, from our co-op shuttle to decide uh, to how the AP system works with deciding everything of course having all their different values it's a lot of tactical depth and for me a well profound strategy game enjoyer Fire Emblem is my favorite franchise to also being a girl's frontline lover still waiting for Global Release of 2 anytime now anytime I'd love I'd love it then you know it, it's just blending all together, and plus, not to mention, first time, it, it's still first time playing through the story, of course, and I'm just enjoying what I'm seeing so far. So, Valmet, it's 3 AP to shoot, so if I move here, I'm still in cover, I got 6 AP, so I can take out Sniper's Nets. And I also have Amplified Blast to take care of you, is what I'm thinking. So let's do so. Thing, biggest thing here as well is perfect formation just retroactively buff everybody up I have the one grenade here and I can synthesize more always do I need to it's 2 AP for Ruby to take shots I could tap with Ruby or I could just have her place down the turrets for the team and honestly that might be the better idea Soak up some adro and just start just started lowering enemies. Because the main thing is Mendo has the ability to kill one. Two. Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This this is a decision that's being made. One turret. Go med it. Two turret. And Valmet get this man. You don't have the AP for it. Understandable. Have a nice day. In that case then, yeah. Just take down numbers one by one, bit by bit for what we can. I think the biggest thing is I need to make space for Jefty, so even though I'd love to go ahead and start attacking the man up here, I need to go down with Abigail, spend all my AP, like literally so, and cur attack because it's gonna be free because uh, it's sp not um ap that i'm gonna be spending medicine if i do this i can't uh, i can't uh just face i can't cur attack these two guys which i desperately need to do right now oh wait betty's also just dead on the ground 
so I can't even move in that space. I can do a turret attack from here, but then that is Rocky Drown, and you are going to take everything. That'd be another dead unit. Do I just double nade? I don't have two grenades. That's a problem. Because I spent it all on making trips, dude. <laughs> okay. Here's the plan. Medkit, Betty. Turret, up. Betty, because it's 2 AP for each of your attacks. I want you to hit all these guys that are weakened. Her attack does nothing, but what I just need out of this is one tap. Then you can take your revenge on practically everybody that has wronged you. That you missed. Oh, but the covering fire! The covering fire trait from Jeff B that I still had after you went down! <laughs> okay, that is absolutely hilarious, dude. That is great. All right, heal yourself up so you're decent at least. I mean, I do, I'm hoping the turret takes a little bit more attention otherwise, but until then, I want to put a smoke grenade. Because if you're going to run through it, I might as well reduce the accuracy. Because it's either you're going up to the top right and having to deal with the turrets up here, or you're going down here, you have to deal with the turret, and then you're dealing with Abigail in cover, who might as well increase your armor as well, for safety's sake. I could take a pot shot at you with Jeff D, but you are oh that could put you in range. And I don't need Jeff D to be taking any more unnecessary damage. One of you could attack, but you want to usually attack the closest enemy, so you'd probably just hit the turret. Valmont's not doing much else here. So I think I want to just go ahead and move up. Do I need to really waste a smoke on this guy? Safety sake, I suppose. It's not like it's really doing much for me here, so I don't think so. Instead, what I think is remove the barricade. If I move up like this, the guy can only attack Jeff D. You're 22. I think I'll just do Danger Premonition for the evasion, since I have all my other skills in cooldown anyway. And poke this man is the decision. Poke this man. Actually, I have the AP, but... Moving out of the way actually doesn't do much. Unless I put a trip. But do I want to waste one of the trips that I spent my few grenades that I crafted this mission anyway to do so? I don't think so. I'll, I'll greet on this end for once. Turrets are being attacked. Meta healing, turret gone. That's a grenade. This is totally fine. So let's, let's just deal with what we know for a fact we can at first here. Mendo moves up. Uh, shift to the bison. You missed an 86. That is horrendous, Mendo. It's alright, though. It's alright. Valmet sweep. Thank you. And Ruby, do you mind... Do you mind just blasting this man? I'm going on the road, so in case I miss my 89 again, I get a second chance. Thank goodness gracious. I increase IDW evasion, please. I think what I want is you to get in the stockpile. Don't know grenades, because I wasted them all already, like I said, which is unfortunate. Hmm. Take two shots and then heal with a medkit, or rather, let's heal with a medkit now. My initial thoughts are... Get rid of your evasion. Her attack is free. And you guys are the only ones really left in the field anyway. I did no other movements here.
I think the idea is have Jefty take a shot on this man. Her for the damage, just straight up. That's really all that I care about. And then blast him twice. One, two. Thank you. IDW Dana, can you finish him off? Let's go, Betty. Let's go. Oh, I'm out of AP. Oh, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Uh, smoke him up. Hi, <laughs> Mr. Ad. I thought I, I thought I had sits, uh, sits AP with Betty, but I did also swap off before completing your action, so it's fine. You are stuck on the snowfield and roads, though. Moving you back towards with West Evasion ain't gonna do much for you, Jeffy. So we just chill. That you have danger premonition, and that's P20 down. <laughs> that's P20, uh, P2000 down for the count. Oh, well, it's fine. All that I need to do here is, uh... Mendo kill. You miss with your bison. How dare. Oh, it's fine. Man does finally die. I got an upgrade blueprint. Lovely. I get the confidential file that I was looking at the entire time. Well, all right, so this is the story I should already know as a girl's frontline enjoyer in in this sense then. Red zones, heavily contaminated, collapsed radiation is harmful to both living organisms and ordinary electronics, etc, etc. Yes, because of the red zones, evil creatures are evolved there, predators that spew acids and everything, and that's when girl's frontline really starts taking a turn and you just start going, oh, oh god, back in, the, in that storyline. Yellow is basically where we certainly are at the moment, basically neutral ground for- or I'd say- I say neutral, more just kind of like danger territory that we're trying to get out of, like, as per the refugee zone. So our panels are radiated built- I'm just kind of steaming through this here, but you can always look at the word another time. And I'll probably dedicate a stream episode once I finish the main campaign, or at least a route, because I think there is multiple routes to this to do so. Yeah, small populations, and then green zones are containerization zones that can be settled normally after being taken care of. Same thing with white zones, which are pure quarantine, basically. So yeah, just big war dump. But alright, decent enough. Abigail, thank you. P20, uh, P2000 might be down for the count, but at least nobody, at least not one of the conditions was to... Keep everybody from critical condition. Ha <laughs> ha! <coughs> I was laughing that I started choking. I need some water. <coughs> oh, we've cleaned up this mess nearby. Get on board. We can't stay here any longer. The attack on the checkpoint won't stay hidden from the UNRC. Reinforcements will likely arrive soon. Is the transport still operational? Of course it is. Show this baby some respect. Adjust the navigation route. We need to avoid major roads. It's all set. I performed emergency maintenance on the damaged parts of the transport, yeah? Alright, yeah, Betty's gonna... Uh, uh, up the... Yeah, counter once again, everybody, for you, you YouTube viewers. Get back into the gyro seat, yeah. Alright, leave it to me. Nice. Yeah, only two critical injuries, and I didn't have to use a medkit on one of them. <laughs> but it feels... It's so nice to see George Funko and cameos with how we've actually been playing in universe. Yeah, plus two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's it. I didn't get a full level, but that's also just me not essing every uh, every uh, fight pass. What do we do now? Can we even get out of here? Captured. And now it's difficult to kill us. There's always hope as long as we win. The Rescue Foundation will find a way to help you. R really? You really won't leave us for dead? Yeah, remember when we had... What was it, like, Ivan? The guy who was clearly infected? And he, he, he was that guy. He was that man who said, I wasn't bitten in a zombie apocalypse. And he very much was bitten. His arm was fully infected. He's like, I'm not the crazy one! Well, to be fair as well, he also, uh, has his face. When, when you're suffering from collapse and you're going to turn into an elid, you are basically, like, 
high on emotions and everything. So, because of that, he was acting irrationally, and, well, that we, the, did we do it? But if there was someone who was infected, it was obviously him from last episode, everybody. Let's be real here. Just give me one second here, everybody. I was responding to a DM. Alright, we're good. Just wanted to hear Betty say it. <laughs> I have no idea what the UN uh, uh, URNC is going to do, but we will never abandon you, yeah? I should have muted my Discord. I got an instant ping badge. Don't worry. You didn't get off the transports, so nobody saw your faces. <laughs> what about you? We'll be fine. Don't worry about us. Thank you so much. We're almost there. Lisa, let's get off here. I, I, it's right. It threw me off, but I forgot they're still operating underneath their code names. Are you sure you won't reconsider, Nia? There's nothing here. Why don't you leave with us? Mineral Water City is rich in resources. No thanks. This is our destination, I'm afraid. We must part ways here. Mm, all right. In that case, I just wish you the best of luck. Yeah. Likewise. Bye, Vanya. Oh, Betty, why are you so cute? Oh, if that is the end of the road. At least we got them for a cameo. And it did feel darn good to have more action economy than just Mendo and Jeff D. I will be honest with you. Having six units action economy feels so nice, dude. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Just getting a. Uh, just got family in the room. <sighs> I'll probably just let things play out for the moment. I won't commentate. You will quit. いいたいことわかる。君の言う通り、あの時は混乱に乗じて素早く逃げるのが一番安全な方法だったな。俺はエージェントにある間引き選択をした。それは認める。ただ老人や子供たちの顔を見ると、どうしても彼らを残して自分だけ逃げることができなかったんだ。甘すぎる。一体何を訓練してきたの？はい、Sam you're like, I need to be with Mendo and get and, and get to Tassa. Well, I guess you can still use him as an ends to a means since you haven't been through this full timeline yet. Or rather, you, you've never been this far in one of your timeline jumps yet. I had a feeling you wouldn't. You definitely didn't want those people to die there either. Sure enough, you fought to the end. Don't talk like you know me. Did you consider the risk of getting us both killed? Weren't you afraid of losing anything? Yeah, you really are being super soon, Ray Jefty. Even if I had to make sacrifices, I wouldn't have left them there. Oh, yeah? Well, I suppose you wouldn't care about losing this either. Wait a minute. The pendant? That, that's mine! I found it on the ground. It even etched with your name. Thanks. This pendant means a great deal to me. Mendo, Mondo, however they at, at there's want to say it. I'm saying Mendo because it's E. That's your name, isn't it? Oh, Yes, my name is Mendo. I had a feeling I've told you that before. Human memories can be deceptive. Are those your parents and the pendants? Yes. You looked inside? Pink hair. Pink hair in George Frontwan universe, everybody. <laughs> that makes, makes you think of scientists with pink hair, don't you think? What's wrong? 
Nothing. You see from the picture just how much they loved you. Actually, all they cared about was your work. They spent days and nights in the lab that they had just researched. I would have forgotten what they looked like if it weren't for this pendant. Perhaps they weren't what you think they were. It doesn't matter anymore. They didn't disappear in the incident six years ago. They're both probably dead. Some questions will never be answered. All we have left for them is this little pendant. And could such a pendant even represent? Maybe he should have just left it there. Anyway, thank you for trying to make me feel better. New transport? Hi. Mr. Lion, I almost forgot one thing. Our protocol still needs to be reverted back to its original settings. It'd be dangerous business if our protocol to fire at humans was always on ya. Oh, you're absolutely right. How could I have forgotten? I'll delete all your registers of this operation. No one will realize your protocol has been tampered with. That's impressive. As expected, Mr. Lion, yeah. Just a second. It'll be done in no time. I never got to thank you properly because we left in such a hurry. Honestly, we can't thank you enough. Thanks to you, I finally got the chance to give those soldiers a good beating. Yeah, you really did. I've been wanting to do this for ages. Abby, it's a shame you didn't see how ferociously I fought. I just seen M500's tail wagging behind is the cutest thing, dude. Oh my god. I think I have a pretty good idea about what you're capable of. And that quiet young lady over there is much better with a rifle than you. She didn't miss a single shot. Actually, I don't think she did during the operation. I don't know if that changes if she does. I'd like to see if it does. I might not be as good as her, but I'm still way better than you. Ruby, you missed two shots in a row and Ego took another- uh, a third one during the mission. <laughs> Ruby, wanna have a match? I'll make you eat your words. Cut it out, both of you now. You can't relax just yet. You've killed a lot of URNC soldiers. And now that our authorizations are locked again, we won't even be able to defend ourselves if we get into a sticky situation. I've discussed this with Ruby. To avoid encountering more URNC, uh, URNC checkpoints, We'll be taking a detour through the mountains to the north instead. It'll be a much bumpier ride, but it'll also be much safer. Good. I don't fear them. I just don't want to run into any more trouble. Right. The protocol and records are now sorted. Thank you, Nya. Ah, oh, goodness. I already know the episode. I already know the title for this episode. It's just gonna be count how many times Cruzy says Nya. You're really not coming with us, Nya? No. Please, take care. Please do take care. Alright. Everybody back in the transport, Nya. By the way, just before we go, you aren't actually Mr. Hurst Lion, aren't you? Uh, you're definitely not a member of our rescue foundation, either. Not that it matters, though, Nya. Bye-bye, fantastic Mr. Agent. <laughs> You just had to get that snark in now, didn't you, IDW? Even dolls can see through your ruse. So, what now, fantastic Mr. Agent? Cass's <laughs> um, safe house isn't far off. Let's make our way there. Hmm. Huh? What is it? Nothing. You seem to be a lot more relaxed all of a sudden. That's because we made it this far. We can pretty much be sure that the URNC troops won't be following us. Your intuition is so down, it's uncanny. How can you tell? I only know what I already know. Yeah, and I'm blind as you right now, Jeffy, so... <laughs> I don't know how much farther we can fly on this end. Dodging the question again. Hey, stop! I see it. What's strange? Wasn't here last time. Are Antarctic traps? Are, 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 are Antarctic traps also primitive? A silver wire? 
What if a wild beast trips it? That's the point. Even if it's discovered, people would only assume it's a trap set by some local hunter because it's so primitive. This is the fastest route to the safe house. There will be a lot of traps, but the real traps are hidden further in. Not bad thinking. What was it? Atma was the one? Oh, Jevin. Only Jevin would be uh, would do this sort of thing. He must be. Hit. Didn't he die in the first time on on the other attack? He's the leader of Tassa, and a senior that I deeply respect. I assure you, he can absolutely be trusted. I'll be the judge of that. Very much. You won't be skeptical when you meet him. Is that so? Then, can you get in touch with him? I don't want to stroll through a minefield. Atna died in previous time when Jevin just wasn't there. I, I know Atna died because of, you know, like, Jeffy's words after the safe house raid and to where Mendo had to escape by himself. I, I just thought from the initial attack when they said, hey, the, the other team has been completely wiped out, that I guess Jevin and the rest would have been too. This is really what Mendo and Jeffy last man standing situation in the first timeline, yeah? They're still maintaining radio silence since it isn't time to check in yet. But if you don't mind settling, uh, setting off a few mines, they might come and take off a look. And, and they might come and take a look. Don't you have any more sensible ideas? Well, if that doesn't work, we'll just have to defuse the mines one by one as we go along. Don't worry. I know Jevin's methods. Just wait for me to clear a path. You think there's an outtake of just Mendo blowing himself up and Jeffy just has to jump? Okay, that's that's very dark. I'm just poking fun. Then I'll leave it to you, fantastic Mr. Agent. Oh, jeez. I might cut that battle into two halves, because that was already one whole hour for unexpected incident. Because, yeah, if it keeps going onwards for, for later battles, I'm going to be dealing with so, so, so on. Like, I'll, I'll be waiting to get to, like, my Fire Emblem days where I'm taking, I'm taking my time, and it's just, all right, three, four-hour mission. So let's look at our training. So I got two, uh, I got ten keys. Jeffy needs to be level 12 before I can get more. That's right, a newer trade, so instead for now. Missing can take a while, but that's not a bad thing. It's just that, you know, at that point then, I'll probably just liberally take a battlefield save. And also for the YouTube content people, I'll probably cut it down to 30 minutes each. Or 20-30 20, minutes, uh, what's his face? Episodes is what I'm thinking then. Because I'm really probably, I'm thinking about it for the future. Just with how the nature is, I'll be dividing up my YouTube uploads by missions and story. Because I was keeping them together at first, but uh, when they start peeling plus 30 minutes, because I'm just letting, you know, the novel play by itself since I am still, once again, this is my first playthrough, blind to it all. I'm thoroughly sucking it in and just seeing what I like out of it all. 15 keys on these. I could upgrade support fire. Support 5 gets critical rate. I don't- I'm not really caring much for crits here. I'm just gonna raw damage so I don't really have ways to really buff up my crits that much. So I think I'll just save. And Mendo it doesn't have any keys. So, nothing here. My weapon prep though. A suppressor for the python. 7 crit instead of 5. I mean, I mean, I was just looking at the crit itself, but hey, I'll take what I can get. Flash Rider and Jefty has it. I could put it on Mendo instead, because the main thing that I'm thinking about it is when it comes to it's only crit I'm sorry, it's only crit and a little bit of accuracy. I mean it just it's the best uh, best over for Mendo just because for, for action economy, since I can swap between them. And with how the bison does have better hit rate. I have better damage, but lesser accuracy. It might be better to just put it on there for the meantime. Yeah, okay, it's only crit for Jeffy. The main thing here, I have a basic blueprint, so... Even though I am putting a little bit on the bison, the python already had an upgrade. I think for me... 
plus 15 damage is the main stuff that I'm working at. Hope we'll actually go on way, but just buffing up the damage a little bit more for her skills to proc, her damaging skills, and maybe to help out with one starting a few more, because I'm expecting enemies to scale up with level and health too. That'd be way better, because Mendo has an upgrade. I don't need to upgrade both over when I should be keeping it bounced on Jeffy a little bit more. I have five research points, so what I'm thinking here is in my challenging playthrough, I looked at the flash flame that I didn't upgrade it before yet, and the fact that I can turn it from just uh, I, I can turn it from just attack by forty and after uh, attack by forty and fifteen, being able to stun humanoid units completely and basically count it as at minimum what I want to use it for a three turn stall slash kill. That's really big, so I want to be packing those a lot more, is my immediate thoughts. Hmm. This is so much AP per shot, uh, per shot, might as well make them count. And yeah, because the big thing too is that with it being 4 AP, and we only have 11 to make use, I'm only getting 2 shots out of her every every time. And unless she has steady shot, she can't kill the commandos in one shot. She has to take two. So, Jeffy's entire turn to kill one unit. When, for example, right there in our previous mission, to where it's taking her, uh, to where six units were basically procking per pod. So I basically need to be getting upwards of equal to or greater than six kills worth every turn on that defense mission. Means that I need to just make every single shot a kill or moving forwards on my side. Otherwise, the other thing I was looking at was stun grenades, because evasion by 20 is nice, but also putting spotted, meaning no additional attributes, so I and I elite enemies should be nice. It's that. I also, once again, you saw I really like the holographic gravel, but I don't have the points for it yet, and I already upgraded one. So the other thing I was thinking about is I love my trips. But also the nades just constantly, you know, I can just keep spending up on nades, just making it all the better. Because if I can keep them to be one turn kills, that might be good. I might be, I think it's very crucial. And otherwise then, it would just be that or the, the pain killers for the meantime. They don't go just way into the grenades since it's just always ubiquitous. Then for now, make more gravel. Just restock on everything that we need at the moment here, you know? Uh, I don't really need too many darts unless it's a stealth mission, so I'll just... Well, I don't know if it will be a stealth mission, but it's not like I'm weak on parts anyway. So I might as well just make a way. I look at my item prep. Yeah, I've got what I currently can at the moment here. So let's save real quick. Let's go on to a few new files. And let's look at our info. Oh, yeah. Stealth. Seems there are special deployments near the safe house. Conduct careful reconnaissance and proceed cautiously through the area. When I say stealth. I don't exactly know what else. Yeah, trip mine, standard turret. It's medium turret. Well. I already saved, and it's not that I'm getting much more information on this end, so I might as well just go on and see. You point with turrets, Mendo? Yeah, since I can be variable and flexible with Mendo's, that's an economy of 2 on the Python versus 3 on the Bison. I want more crit on him since, you know, more attacks. Whereas, we're Jefty, just pile on the damage. Next is the most heavily fortified area. We'll have to use some reconnaissance methods. I suppose they have the one spotter drone. That's it. There's so many traps that I'm afraid I won't even let the fly pass. Well, I probably wouldn't trigger the alarm at all. I shouldn't have let you walk through this man a minefield. Um. <coughs> it seems there's no safe way out. We're trapped here. Don't worry, I have an idea. The best way in this situation is to sacrifice some equipment to trigger the trip mines to secure a path. The Antarctic Union sure has some deep pockets. Our priority is to leave this place, so we have no choice but to resort to the most rough and straightforward method. 
of our equipment is limited, so we should so we need to spare it unless it's absolutely necessary. Get to the point, huh? Need to keep moving to the east. I think it's safe around here. Follow me. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We've reached a fork in the road. Trying to head towards more complex, we better proceed with caution. Sure, I was thinking of the exact same thing. The trail route through this area will definitely be found as long as the scanner is placed in a safe area that has previously been scouted. Since we can't find the pattern in the defense of deployment of their defenses, how about we split up? I'll go south and you go north. Be more efficient this way, and we can also search for usable supplies to replenish our supplies. Alright. Be careful, contact me if anything happens. I was about to say, I only have the one scanner though, so unless Mendo's scanner that he put down during the cutscene is given to me, then yeah, that's immediately what I was going to start calling into foul. Oh wait, actually I have three! That's decent, so currently, the scene here, this is my, this is what I'm spotting out at the moment. So, Mendo move. The only thing that I'm, I feel like I'm worried about is I feel like it's going to be like an enemy patrol or something like that. It's going to be nearby. That sucks. That's really, really unfortunate. That's really, really damn unfortunate. I thought that was scouted enough, but it's fine. It's fine. It is, like... I'd be safe enough just on the road. I'd assume so at this point. But what I have I have three scanners and I already wasted one, so it's not the worst thing ever, but it does just mildly suck. Yeah, scanner can see up to there, so I'm safe enough. Pseudo acrylic. There's some acrylic boards here. Do you think they will come in handy? Those materials can synthesize standees to attract enemy fire. Got it. Come up on Stand D. This primary attack for enemy units. Interesting. Well, I might as well make the one that I have. That's interesting. So a dummy. So if I wanted to take aggro for me, then that would be wonderful. In that case. Alright, Mendo. Look. Put that bat down there again since I know there's nothing at the very least this time. Return it. And then I want to place it again. <laughs> I can't believe I already lost my my first scanner like that, dude. That's absolutely hilarious. So I think I would definitely have to just detonate with uh standee saddle here because I can't be spotted. Otherwise this one here keeps spotting till right there so I need to recall and wait out next turn. With you top right exactly so. There's no way to pass through here, unfortunately. So what I have to do is... Do this, you'll still be awarded, you turret. But it's not that they have Overwatch, they'd only attack in range. So it's fine, right? So maybe I shouldn't be fearing it as much. Fact that they still need to detonate, just guaranteed to get that away. You spot, like you can spot me, but you can't. Okay, unless you ask to spot me, you can't attack me, so it's fine. 
So I'll want you to be placed right here next then. And same deal with here from Mendo. I'll need to just place the next turret over then. Yeah, these turrets will spot me no matter what in that case, but just move out and around like so, I'm fine. Chill. So, move Jeff D up. That's a turn on the high ground. that I should do here at the moment is move the scanner away move the scanner here I want to see how far things are going Jeffy, I've noticed a suspicious house of firewood on the side firewood seems to have been deliberately arranged by someone Let's go over and check it out hmm This whole area is spotted for me here, so if I could, I'd want Jeff to just basically bob and weave through like so. As for Mendo, what I need you to do, sir. Wait, the turret. You detonate exactly so. Why'd I be spotted this way? I mean, not really doing too much at the very least here. I'm still fine, and I can just place it ahead of me next turn, so I'll do so. Can I, can I not move this way? I want to move over to the house right so I'm just gonna save real quick just in case I re and just in case I mess this up because I just want to move Jeffy up like one two yep fine Mendo take your scanner one more time I see you here this is still tripped but it's fine Place your next turret. Perfect. And we chill. Once more. Since I can see the entirety of up to where the house is, I really don't need to be doing much. Because there's no traps guaranteed. This game will only continue to get better. A tired poster. What the heck? I don't exactly know what that is. Huh. Whatever. Very least though. Uh, this can go up to the rock, yeah? Alright, so pull you back. Get on the rock, unless there's a turret here, in which case I'll hate my life. There is not. Wait! That is a fixed medium turret. This place seems to be a final line of defense in the road to the safe house. This kind of turret has been modified by Tasso. Open fire immediately upon detecting nearby targets. We get shot to pieces if we make any reckless decisions. It's an AU solution. My weapons, they should have a solution, right? Search suspicious buildings. If there's anything noteworthy, examine it carefully. Right? Let's not waste more time. Interesting. So I'd have to just stay on here, but I legitimately- actually, I really can't, because it's impassable, so I guess what the mission objective is, basically, then. In that case, Jeff D. Control panel in this building can monitor the status of the fixed turrets nearby. There's also a lever here. This should be what you use to control the turrets, right? That should be correct. The inspector would find it so quickly. Check if there are any operation manuals for the me for mechanisms around. 
You have burned the lower ends of the lever and created the levers and an S respectively. And there seems to be a warning below indicating single use only. That's all the instructions. If I'm not mistaken, the operations of the fits dirt can be stopped in various areas by manipulating the lever. Understood. Let's check our de turret deployment before making a decision. I I see now. So if I want to get the stuff over here, I, I I'm just gonna have to just go around with Jeff D. I still have five turns, so Mendo can basically take the north and decide on that end whenever he wants. Hey Kappa, how you doing, Chief? Hope you're doing well today. So, Jeff D can probably just get whatever's down here while Mendo actually rushes up to finish the map. Because this should be all the traps that we are seeing here at this point. Yeah, the scanner is only to see more and more, so that should be it. So in, uh, so in that case, Mendo, I'll probably just have you legitimately start rushing down. Yeah, there's nothing more here. The most that will be spotted is right there then. So you can honestly get up. Legitimately, you could just start sprinting. Because no turrets can attack you here. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a tank in the way, so why would I have you sprint? I'm going to go around this way then, I suppose. Because these turrets will be off. Instead of me having to blow things up again. Then you blow up one, but then I'd be blowing up one, two. Sorry if I'm being a little distracted from your attention, Cap. I'm just, you know, strategy gaming right now. Okay, yeah, Mendo, just keep it. I thought I already got rid of all the mines, dude. You kidding me? Oh, look, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Mendo can just start going down here. Stop the turrets in the north, please. Perfect. Doing, uh, uh, don't worry about it. Probably gonna work for most of the stream anyway. You have a good night? Well, enjoy your night then too, Kappa. Enjoy your night. To be honest, I thought it would have scanned all of those, so how did I run into it? Well, either way, at least Mundo had obsession. Uh, his passive traits, so we're fine. And the turrets should just, uh, and the standards should just keep, you know, it should be fine otherwise then. Yeah, Mendo, I want you to just basically do a battlefield run, my friend. Guys, I can still see. Yep, everything's spotted over here. You're fine. Whereas Jeff D. Just keep crawling around. spotted almost everything here. I'll probably just move it back at this rate then. 200 parts, not gonna say no to that. These guys are off, so Mendo can just make a break for it at any time, just about. So I'll just have him... Uh... You spot to up there, so one, two, I mean, okay, that's fine then. In that case, for now, that's best thing to do is you can't see up to that point, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and place the scouter for Jeffy then. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Yep, everything's good there, so all we need to do with Jefty is fall back around. We'll get the parts here, and Mendo will crawl right on over. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. 
because immediate risk range. I didn't know if I should just ping and get it. Uh, and I didn't save beforehand. You know what? I'll just take the L. Because I wanted to read for the part, but it's fine. Smallest beans, whatever. Sounds like I'm going to be 180 off. Fine enough. I'll take the A, I'll take the L, and I can just report that another time. Hey, I'll vote 10 for everybody here. They immediately thought about, I uh, forgot about the condition of they would just open five again within vision range. I was like, maybe I have enough AP if I get up. <laughs> According to the coordinates, the house should, ahead should just be our safe house. It's getting dark. Let's see the code phrase and head inside. Yeah. I hope Jevin is still in there. <coughs> I was watching outside in the darkness. The heavens glowing with rough stars. Atna? Atna? Stop. Atna, put your gun down. This is an emergency. Answer my questions first. We've lost contact with you for several hours. Why are you alone? Where are the other squad fox members? Did you just enable Jevin's traps? Who's that over there? They were ambushed. Everyone in Fox 2 2 with KIA, and I'm the only one alive in Fox 2 1. You see, this, this is where, this is where uh, I thought Jevin died in Timeline 1, uh, King, is uh, when this happened here. With, uh, I thought it was Fox 2 2, but, you know, it, like I said, it's been a month since I played, so, faulty memory. And this is. Listen, Atma, I'm a bakery. Basically, I'm your mission objective. Okay, I, I feel like you didn't say enough of that last timeline, though. That's right. She is bakery. <laughs> You're being deceived, Mendo. Huh? What? Squad Fox is completely wiped out. Yet the mission objective presents herself, wrapped as a gift. Don't you find it ridiculous? How did you manage to escort the mission objective to the extraction point all by yourself when even Anderson and Carl failed to do so? You said you were ambushed. It must have been an intel leak. Under such circumstances, why would you trust a stranger who came out of nowhere? Hold on, Atma. You don't understand the situation. This is just my last timeline. I was there in person. I know what happened out there. Besides, you completely matched the description of our mission objective. What proof do you have? I see far more reasons to suspect her than to trust her. I... It's okay, Mendo. I knew this would happen. But... What are you doing? You gonna cut your wrist again? Prove that you are non-human? Basically? I don't want to waste any more time. You want proof? I'll give you proof. A knife wound like this isn't something an ordinary person can heal immediately, right? Are you crazy? That wasn't necessary at all! Your, your wound. You got the cutscene last time. I don't know if we're getting it this time. Or rather, though, or... Oh, hello, sir. Oh, dear. That should do it. I think she has more than demonstrated her sincerity, Atna. That has also sufficiently proved her identity. We'd be ungracious hosts if we kept them waiting outside the door any longer. Jevin! Are we getting more people? Please! I need more units so badly! I just knew you'd be okay. Come, let's get inside first. What's what you made it this time? What, what did Jeffy's face? She's really like, wow, I did not believe we got far, this far this time around. I see. That you're ambushed by the URNC. You're the only survivor of Squad Fox. I, I know it's Antarctic here, but blue gloves with his blue hair and everything, he looks pretty nice and regal, dude. Then he used trained intelligence to break free from the enemy's encirclement. That's right. You've done well, Mendo. Your losses are heavy, but at least you've delivered our mission objective here. Welcome, Miss Bakery. Antarctica will always have its doors open for you. Don't call me Bakery. My name is Jefty. <laughs> oh, oh, of course, Miss Jefty. So, you're the leader of Tassa? Yes, that's me. I'm Jevin. Pleased to meet you. Don't worry, I'm the frontline commander of this operation. I can provide all the aid you need. Then, I'll cut straight to the chase. 
Alright, things have been sent, we're all good on that end, so let's get back to it. I came all the way here because I require your assistance to rescue her. You never mentioned this to me. We can't make this decision ourselves. We'll have to report this to the higher-ups. Don't use your higher-ups as an excuse. Either agree to my terms or I'll leave immediately. Alright, this is just rather right, the last time we're We can't make any promises right now. Stormina, you are an NC base with no preparation means certain death, even for Tassa. I have an agreement with Kampf. A sister and I are a package deal. Hmm. It's not like I don't sympathize with you, Miss Jefty. But Atna also has a point. To be honest, what happened to Strad Fox is already races quite the alarm bell. The sister's situation is deeply regrettable, but I'm afraid there is really nothing we can do under these circumstances. Really. Ms. Atna, don't get any closer. You might also want to put away your tranquilizer if you wish for this negotiation to continue. Yeah? You're, all right, you're using your leverage from last timeline. There you go. At least you're not repeating the same mistakes. <laughs> Atna, we're still talking here. In that case, I'll give it to you straight. There's no way we can conduct a pointless rescue operation, nor can we just let you go. If you refuse to cooperate, we'll have to resort to more forceful measures. Hold on, Atna! You don't have to be so harsh! I saw this coming. And what if I told you my sister Lika and I are the same? We're all necessary people. Do you? What do you mean? Care to explain, Miss Jefty? The reason why you need me is very clear to me. It's because of my body. I'm a fully immune individual. Yeah, if you're passive, then give it away. Lige is exactly like me and has the same constitution. <laughs> this is no joking matter, Miss Jefty. You mustn't make up such lies just to trick us into helping you. How much do you know about the Gavril project? That's highly confidential. But you do know about it, don't you? The reason why the Antarctic forces are willing to rescue me is because I'm one of those test subjects of the Gavril project. If you still think I'm lying, just think about this. Throughout the entire project, there's only ever been three successful subjects. The rest are all defective. Why would I give Riga special treatment? Why was she the only one I took with me when I escaped from the lab? I have made it very clear to Kampf that I would only leave with you if Liga also comes with me. But I honestly haven't received orders like this from Colonel Kampf. I don't care why he didn't bother to tell you, but I'm sure you can't overlook the fact that Liga is a fully immune individual just like me. You are NC troops haven't realized this yet, but now that they've captured Liga, they'll figure it out sooner or later. I have told you the truth. You are free to believe that this is some lie that I fabricated. But the consequences will be yours to bear. And just in this after another time and say, screw you guys. My... You really backed me into a corner now, young lady. Jevin? It's okay, Atna. He's right. Even if there's only one in a million chance that she's not lying, we simply cannot afford to risk not believing her. If that girl Ige really is a fully immune individual, the consequences may be severe. You two should take a rest first. We'll move on to the next step when we have a solid plan. Is that alright with you, Jefty? Even though I can wait, you are an RNC, uh, you are NC troops of home. What do you mean? According to my intel, the URNC are on their way to eliminate us. For your own safety, please make your decision as soon as possible. Do you have your own intelligence network? Not exactly. 
I have my own way to acquire intelligence. But enough about that. Give me your answer as soon as possible. 15 minutes later, give me one second. Give me one second all. I'm just uh to say I am just messaging bolts once more. Pinging individual, but that's really it. Alright, back to it. 15 minutes later. You made a decision. Will you not come with me to rescue Uige after all? We can't do it on our own, at the very least. We must get in touch with my squad first. Why didn't you send all the men you had to begin with? The original plan was to meet up with Squad Fox here. Stepping away quietly is the way to go. There were too many of us. We were risk exposing ourselves. Then how do we get in touch with them? The URNC is now on alert and they started jamming all long-range communications. Our priority right now is to change locations. We have a second safe house, closer to the mine. That safe house is set up to facilitate our retreat. We'll have more options once we get there. This mine? You mean the Ica mine? That location is a bullshit hollow. Your safe house there makes it easier for us to be surrounded than to retreat. We obviously have our reasons for setting up that safe house there. You don't have to worry about that. That had better be true. Athena, sort out our equipment here. Don't leave anything behind for the RNC troops to scavenge. On it. Mendo, come with me. You need to erase the traps you left on your way here. And while you're at it, recover the rest of the traps. Got it. I'll go with you. Ah, uh, sure. I guess you don't want to be alone with a waspish woman like Athena. Let's go. We gotta move quickly. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad that we're just playing along and just saying, uh, Athena can be a little bit terse. Mendo, follow me. Okay. There are some things we need to talk about in private. The mission is to find Bakery, escort her safely to extraction point, and rendezvous with us, correct? Yes, that is the Squad Fox's mission, to be more exact. Mm, if you put it like that, then you've really completed the mission. But Jeffy still hasn't boarded the aircraft to Antarctica. Technically, my mission isn't over yet. You're right. You're always in here, so I am your superior. I now have another mission for you. Does this have something to do with her? Keep a close eye on her and make sure she's safe with us. Until we get her safely onto the aircraft. I've been doing this the whole time, haven't I? Let me finish. When we reach the second safe house, the squad will join us from the tunnel. The tunnel. The safe house is located in an abandoned mine. We have a rail car hidden away in the tunnel there, and my squad can make their way to us quickly. Once we are under the protection of their fire support, the squad will escort us and our mission objective to the extraction point. I see. This is indeed a brilliant point of retreat. I'm guessing we aren't going to get weak yet. But the ship gets onto our train and puts forth a blow up the passage. We'll have to keep a close eye on her. Blow up? So we are not going to rescue her sister after all? We decided to get her out of here without her sister. Yes. Wait, that's not what you promised her. I didn't lie. But what that young lady said is true, and we cannot allow her little sister to fall into the URNC's hands. Once we rendezvous with Tass's main force, I'll take two men to investigate this test subject called Uige. I sense a butt coming. Yeah. But, Bakery must evacuate first. At the very least, we must make sure one of the fully immune individuals will be out of the URNC's reach. 
You do have a point, but I don't believe it's the right decision. I haven't spent much time with Jeff T. But I think I have some understanding of her character. She's very resolute and strong of her. But she has set her mind on something. She won't give up no matter what other people say. Besides, she's determined to put up a fight. We can't contain her safely, even with numbers on our side. We just have to get her to board the aircraft. The tunnel collapsed, and she won't be able to go back on her own. Once we're up in the sky, then she'll be much simpler. I don't think this is right. I know you have your concerns, but this is an order, Mendo. Ensure the safety of Bakery. Don't let your squad make sacrifice be in vain. I've cleared the traces we lost when we came. Looks like you've completed your recovery too. You finally told me your plan. You've set up a high-speed rail car in the mine near the second batch of safe house. That's his main forces on their way. Once you group with them, or attempt to rescue your little sister. Yeah, alright. It's white lies, exactly so. You, yeah, you will attempt to rescue your little sister, but you're not saying a time frame. Yeah, we even just parts out, but that's really it. I gather you have no further objections, but it is a tough call, Jevin. I don't fault you there, but it does feel bad. Jevin, I'm ready on my end. I found traces of enemy intruders while I was cleaning things up. We must get out of here soon. It seems Bakery was telling the truth. Understood. You'll just run them over. Get all the gear you need. We're grouping back to the safe house. Roger that. Mendo, Miss Jefty, enemies are headed this way. We got to quicken our pace and make it back to the safe house. Let's go. That was just a little cleanup and all. Assassination, incendiary grenades. Ooh, better vision for the future. I will take that. I get Athna. I get Jevin. Let's go. All right. I want to take a look at their stats and everything before I go on. So Jevin is 10. Athna is 10. Yeah, everybody's 10. All right. What do we have here for everybody here? Athna wields a pistol. That's a pistol? It's more like almost like a big barrel shotgun. I'll be honest with you there. Pulsar. Oh, so that was for Atna to get. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oyster with everything more interesting. Let's check out our skills. One tenacity. That's attack damage minus 40. Interesting. It can take a little bit more because your HP is 70. Everybody is 70. No, uh, uh, Jeff D is 44, but you are the same as Mendo, but while Mendo just wants to have immediate cover to dodge tank, you might just be a bigger tank yourself. Increase range by one for one turn. Okay. Grant one stack of mad bomber. Increase direct damage dealt to target when using damage type items. Okay, I like that. So I can really incentivize grenades and everything like that. Draw fire. Gain taunt for a turn. Ooh! Nice support altogether, and also no mask on that now. Traits, tactical shield. This is the armor stack, which, which reduces armor uh, uh, damage taken. So yeah, you, because of your shield. Stream distance, increase item effect range by one. So yeah, nice jack of all trades in a way, and being able to be a team support for drawing fire, doing more damage with uh, items and everything like that. Magnetic field. Deploy a magnetic barrier for two turns. Damage taken by allied units within the barriers reduced by 35. Nice, and the fact that it's allied units means even if enemies rush in, they might not even be able to do much then. I like that, I like that, I like that. Alright Jevin, what do you got? Gain two stats of a sold. Nets no more attack, has one more AP and is guaranteed to crit. Interesting! Well, what sort of your weapon to? You have an AR. Nice. Energy shield. Start the battle with one set of shields. There's 10% chance of gaining a shield instead of allied turn. Each shield negates one instance of damage. I was looking at that, so nice. Cool. Each critical hit increases its own crit rate up, up to a max of 10. So you just want to be crit, crit, crit. So I like that idea, because that can just go off a of soul tactics. 
Meet to gain one stack of shield and the maximum stack of shields increased by one for two turns. Nice. Yo, damage equal to 120% to slash 80% of own attack from the inside out. I mean, oh, okay. I, I get it. So, immediate, uh, the center radius is going to be 120. The outside radius is going to be 80. Increase accuracy by 10. When attacking the same target, increase damage by uh, 20%. Okay. Grenade Feast. Normal attacks become area attacks. Gren deal damage to enemies and equal to 100%. So yeah. And it last two turns. That's interesting. I like that. That's real, real cool. That is real, real cool. Your red dot and whatever. And your stuff is uh, tier 2 as well. Oh, and uh, Bison didn't take your poster. Oh, I could have also just given it to Mendo. Let's look at our stuff here real quick, though. Increase evasion to making it 50 would be really nice. Don't need accuracy. Don't need more damage traits, I think, more than anything. I think making penetrating shot to be with 100% accuracy would be nice. Oh, you're yeah, not level 14. Alright, fair. Because the main thing that I really need out of it is I need that to be a consistent way for me to deal damage no matter what. Let's look at the skills again here though. 60% is really nice. Increased item effective range is absolutely amazing. I think I like Mad Bomber like that. I think I'll just upgrade her 1, 2, 3 skills like so right here. And then I'll probably just upgrade Tactical Shield afterwards. And for Jevin. I don't like the 20% chance for more shields when I could probably decide to get, like, get more shields myself, for instance. Interesting. Reflect damage on the shield. In one set of shield, this skill defeats a unit. Ooh, I do like that since I want to basically token firm with that. That's really, really nice, actually. Upgrade again to make it a range of three. I like that idea. Hmm. I think I want the additional accuracy though, and then the idea otherwise then would probably be the what? Is my thoughts, or to just make the grenade even better. Let's make the what? Oh wait, I don't have. Okay, it's 14 and I can get that on. In that case, then. I guess I will actually level up the energy shield at this point. Oh, nope. Don't restore. Don't restore. Item prep. Let's see what we can or make. Deal 56 damage to enemies within the area of effect and scorched. Ignores armor. And this target is in a forest sand, or sand power ruin. So instead of just tossing a regular grenade for 80, you can toss this to deal extra damage by them. And make it so they just keep ticking. I do like that. I think that'll be very nice to have. Because then we have ways to deal with enemies. Yeah, it's like so enforced and all. This be even more of a nuisance. Let's go ahead and make those. Make as many as we can. Now we're gonna have to, of course, start deciding which stuff to bring. Because our, our backpack is getting quite full. Or no, not yet. Not exactly there yet, but yeah, the fact that we can make presets and with how much storage there is, I will have to start deciding sooner or later. For now, save on my file. I just want to take you out to the battlefield for this map beforehand, though. Ah, it's 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 the escape map. Except instead of escaping this time, we can actually just go through. You and I see soldiers moving there are other ways to save us. Through the scan and detect the enemies and systematically defeat them. So we now have elite snipers. Uh, that's no fun at all, dude. That is no fun at all. So let's just take a look for a net stream then. So yeah, more action economy, thank goodness, now. But we're gonna have to play this by ear a little bit more, of course, with seeing how we can play around the smoke and all. Smoke and mirrors. 
interest points here, of course. Yeah, and this man, Mach. It's a flash harder for more crit in the future. Interesting. At least for now, it really just comes down to, yeah, we just have to respect ourselves in our ruins. Probably have Atma start deploying our scanners and seeing how things go on from there. We have a turn of buffer, but I don't know how they will start searching on that point on. But alright, that will be good enough for now. Oh, is, is Jevin playing with an Atna cardboard cutout? Okay, that's actually pretty funny and cute. Hello. I was kind of watching the idol, it says it's so cute. Okay, but at least for now, everybody, it will be it for a stream tonight, because it is two hours. I still need to get two mission time in. Yeah, that is just... <laughs> that is just Jevin playing with an Atna standy. But that'll be it for now, y'all. I will probably start telling you, yeah, the story segments uh, with the, uh, minus the gameplay segments, just to make things a little bit more linear. I'm of clipping the gameplay in the future. But for now, everybody, wherever you are, wherever you may be, whether you're on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, or more, it's been your wonderful one made, your true ship servant, Charger's Proxy, ever and always at your service. Thank you all for a wonderful night so far. Hopefully you can show out. I'll be back on, I'm pretty sure it would be Saturday for my end. Let me check my own stream schedule. It's Saturday with the usual standard Omega Strikers. So we'll have to see how that goes. But at least for now, everybody, thank you once again for all the luck and love that you've poured on over. I'm still having a blast with reverse collapse and the fact, you know, I've been going on well enough and what I feel like is barely scratched the surface for playing the game, it just feels pretty nice, I've got to admit. But for now, I want to send the love over to one of my friends who is actually debuting out. I haven't gotten to talk to him in a little bit, but it is Ui Oni, who is actually re-debuting, basically, all things considered. So do send the love over. The cruise ship has landed. Uh, proxy raid. So do send out the raid message if you already aren't following me, of course. Please do give out the love in any retrospect you can. And as always, wherever you are, wherever you may be, whether you're on Twitch, or YouTube, or more, it's been your wonderful and your cruise ship servant. Dr. Proxy, ever and always at your service. Thank you, everybody, once again for tonight. And at least from my side of the world, whether it be morning, afternoon, evening, or night now, do enjoy yourselves now, everybody.